Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Today, I'm going to go after the floater. But um, before doing that, uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the last video, um, if you have a thief, you want to save the uh, flame armor and the ice shield for him. Uh, he'll be able to use those in the near future, so just save those for later instead of actually selling them. Me, I'm going to sell them. So Now, before jumping down this hole here, uh, if you're playing on the original console version, I would highly recommend taking the stairs, you can see there in the upper right hand corner, I'd recommend taking those out of here to use a house and save. Uh, there's a few reasons you want to do that. Um, first, uh, you don't want to get wiped out by the boss and lose everything you worked for when you're this close to the end. Um, second, you're going to have to go through all the way through that previous floor that I just went through all over again, where it's very possible to die. you got frost wolves, sorcerers, cockatrices. I mean, so many ways you can die. Um, you'll find out in my deleted scenes how many ways you can die there. So um, I'd be very careful with that. So I think it'd be a good idea. And uh, finally, you've really gotten all of the other chests already. So, you know, to go out and then go all the way back through again, it's really not going to take that long, and it's less risk, in, in my opinion. So, that's what I do, but I have an emulator, so I'm going to use save states here. So, let's go down here. Okay, now if I take one more step to the left, I'm going to run into the mini boss for this, who's guarding the chest there. So, let's do it. Okay, uh, no unexpected fights. Okay, now this, this guy has about 162 HP, very deadly, so um, I wouldn't even bother casting fast. Just go all out, try and knock him out in one round. Whew. Man, I got lucky there. Okay. Yay! We got the floater, but now can't get out of here oh no we gotta do this all over again oh well let's let's move on uh, basically all you got to do is walk through this floor walk through uh, the next floor to those stairs and get out of here so I will meet you there okay well we made it out of the ice cave barely but I made it you'll see what uh, what went wrong on in the deleted scenes video. Um, now, you may be wondering, what are we supposed to do with this floater? I mean, it just, it's a rack. What the hell am I supposed to do with a rack? Well, I'll show you how we're supposed to find out where we're supposed to go with that. Here. Here is where we're supposed to go to find out what to do with the floater. Elfland. What the hell? Okay, so south of the Crescent, they're referring to Crescent Lake, obviously, and there's a desert to the south of there. How are you supposed to know to come back here? I don't know. But, I guess, whatever. This is where you're supposed to find out, so uh, I will meet you over there and show you how to get there. Okay, this is where you're supposed to go. Park your ship here, go to the desert in the desert, use the floater. Yay! Oh, thank God, now I don't have to walk everywhere. And we have the airship. Yay! Okay, so you take your ship from Crescent Lake, go just follow the coast south, and that's where you're supposed to go with your airship. So uh, now I'm going to uh, go to uh, Canaria. Since now I have the airship, I can just go wherever I want to, really. So yeah, just go to Canaria, uh, rest up at the inn, restock on heal potions, because if you're like me, you use a whole lot of them. And uh, yeah, restock on whatever you need, uh, sell your excess equipment, and then we'll figure out where we want to go next, because we have a lot of exploring to do. So I'll see you soon. Okay, well, now we have the airship, so we have free access to the world. So, let's go exploring. Let's see what's around here. So I want to start northwest and uh, work our way east. 
Now remember that guy who said there's no ports to the north? Well, this is why we need the airship. Oh, we got a town here. Let's see, maybe I can land here. No? Okay, well, the only way to get to that town, you gotta park all the way over here and then canoe your way over. You wanna use your canoe because the enemies here are much tougher. Uh, not that they're tough, just tougher. Let's see, we got a whole bunch of islands here with holes in the ground and a castle. That's nice. Oh, by the way, that town we passed by before, that's a town called Anrak. We'll be going there later. Let's see, this is the town of Gaia, but there's nothing we can do there yet. And, uh, you see this lone parking spot there? You, you're eventually going to need to take that to get all the way down here to this place. For some reason, they won't let you land here or anywhere else. This is the town of Lafine, but you can't even talk to anyone there because uh, they speak some bizarre language, uh, Lafinish or Lafinish or whatever it is. I don't know. But anyway, you can't go there. Towns really aren't worth going to right now. So, we're gonna... Where the hell am I? Okay. So, let's find somewhere that I know where I am. Okay. So basically, to figure out where we want to go next, I usually take, uh, here we are, the Dwarf Cave. Head straight north. And here we are. These are the Cardia Islands. Uh, let's see who's inside. Can't be that great if they just live in some holes in the ground. Oh, some dragons. And we gotta bring proof of our courage. Well, I have the floater. Does that count? Okay, well, we, they have some treasure here, and I'm going to take it just because I feel like it. So we got a cabin. Okay, nothing over there. And we get some gold. And another soft potion. Yay! Now these chests, I think, contain different stuff in future versions of the game. So, like Dawn of Souls and the other ones, uh, the PlayStation ver PSP version. So, be careful. The enemies around here are pretty tough, but uh, we'll be okay with them. Let's check out these ones. Okay, so we gotta meet the king of their dragon. Or king, dragon, whatever. Bahamut unprofitable business. What are you, Frangy? No, I want to talk to this guy. Oh, great, that's wonderful. We used to live together. Great. Okay, well here's a pretty rare enemy, Soria. And they can turn you guys to stone. So let's get out of here. Alright. They're pretty rare, so I wouldn't worry about them too much. Okay, let's go down this long hallway. A very long hallway. Why they make me walk down this long hallway, I don't know. This better be worth it. And there's another dragon who looks like all the other ones, and they're no taller than I am. Would you be afraid of a dragon that's just as tall as you are? Well, I, I guess I would be with the claws and the wings and everything, but... You know, it's not like, well, whatever. Anyway, this is Bahamut, the king of dragons. He wants proof of my courage to receive the honor of du two warriors. So, that's what we gotta do. But we gotta figure out, how are we gonna prove it? So, uh, I'm going to find that next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy. That's all for today's episode. Look out for my deleted scenes episode next. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.